Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. Do you have a Camaro with PDR and have some pretty irregular track map data? Has your on track location gone haywire during one of your stints? Have you gone back through the data and seen that you've only done one lap when really you've done probably eight to 10? Well, today I'm gonna to show you how to take this GPS antenna and use it instead of the vehicle's factory GPS antenna to fix that crazy PDR issue until GM releases the fix of their own. Follow me to the bench and I'll show you what we need. You're only going to need a couple of things to get this job done. First and foremost, you're going to need the GPS antenna. Now, this GPS antenna is a FACRA C type connector. This particular one has a swivel end on it. So I will have the link in the description for that one. And then you just need a couple of panel removal tools. Uh, I like this one because it has uh, both a hooked end and a flat end. Um, and then something with a little more uh, brute force to it to pull one of the Christmas tree style push pins. Uh, and then recommended, I'm gonna have some uh, 3M uh, adhesive for the back side of this. Although this is magnetic, we are not mounting this or placing it uh, in anything that it would stick to without some help from the 3M. So let's get started. First step you wanna do is actually pretty easy. You wanna back the seat up on the passenger side as far as you can. The reason you wanna do that is that the PDR module where the antenna is connected to is located underneath the passenger side footrest area. So what we wanna do uh, to gain access to that and to get a nice clear path to route the GPS antenna to the rear deck lid is move the seat back. And then simply on this trim piece here, we're going to pull straight up and then out towards the rear of the car, and that will release this trim piece here. We'll set that aside so it doesn't get scratched up. And then once we can see we have access to the carpeting here, you'll wanna grab your uh, panel removal tool or something to pull the Christmas tree. There's one push pin Christmas tree that's located right here towards the front. Uh, near the A pillar. Um, you'll want to get that in position and then simply lift up, pull that piece out and set it aside. You don't want to lose that. Now that this has been removed, you have better access to get to the passenger side footwell area. And in this case, you really just need to push the carpet and, and pull it out of the way. Once I get this moved out of the way, I'll move you in closer so that we can actually see the PDR module. So what you'll do is push it down and then pull towards the seat. And then once you've done that, you'll see this metal box back here and I'll pull you in closer so that you can see the PDR module and where we need to make our connection. Now that we have the carpet pulled aside, you can see the metal box here, or I should say it's not really the metal box, but this is a, a kick plate, metal kick plate that literally just sticks. It's not bolted down. Um, there is one bolt way back there, but we don't need to undo that. Uh, there's just some, some adhesive here and over there. We just need to lift this up. I'm going to do my best to show you what I can here without blocking the camera view. But what we are looking for is this far dark blue connection. And this is the factory GPS antenna. So you just need to push the little retaining piece in and pull it out. And then quite literally just tuck it up with the other wires because we don't need 
this for now. What we do need is the GPS antenna that I showed you earlier. Once we've disconnected that, we can take the new Facracy connector from the GPS antenna and we will line up the push pin towards the floor and plug that in where the factory GPS antenna was located. And you'll hear it click in. And now we can safely route this down and towards the back of the vehicle. So I'm gonna take a step back here. We'll back this out, we'll put this carpet back down and then I'll show you how to route the wire. Now that we have the carpet placed back down on the passenger side footwell, we are just going to take that GPS wire and route it along the side sill of the car and heading towards the back of the vehicle. Once we have it tucked in to the point where it meets this other plastic trim, I'm gonna go ahead and put the Christmas tree push pin back in so that I don't lose it or forget to do it later. For the purpose of the video, I'm gonna do this from inside the car, but it's gonna be a lot easier for you to do from outside of the car. I'm just trying not to be in the way of the camera. So I'm gonna fold the seat forward and then move it up as much as I can. Once we've made it here, we're gonna take the wire and tuck it underneath this trim panel. Now you can do this with your fingers or if you have the panel removal or trim removal tool, it makes it a little easier because what you'll do is tuck it alongside this plastic panel here and move it up until you get to the rear seat location. Now that we have the wire at the rear seat, we can simply pull the cushion back and tuck it down until we get to the rear seat back. And then we'll want to pull the rear seat down. Before you fold the seat back down, you wanna make sure that the wire is in front of the rear seat belt and tucked in under this plastic panel here. And then you'll take the head of the GPS antenna and shove it in between the seat bottom cushion and the seat back. And then we can pull this down. Now that you've folded the seat back down, you'll have to use one hand to fish the GPS antenna head through and grab it on the other side. Once you've done that, you can pull the rest of the wire up so that we can get ready to route it up onto the deck lid. Now we can take the wire and tuck it behind this plastic panel here, which has a lot of play in it. Um, you typically don't need any tools, but it's nice to have a panel removal tool just to make it a little easier. And then once we get to this push panel here, uh, we're going to remove that to get the antenna around it so we can get it routed up and into this C pillar to get it onto the back deck lid. Remove the Christmas tree push pin and then route the GPS antenna wire up to the C pillar. And then once you have it up near the C-pillar, put the Christmas tree push pin back in so you don't lose it. And continue to route the antenna wire towards the back of the deck lid. We're gonna take the GPS antenna head and route it towards the center 
back of the deck lid way back there to get a clear shot of the sky and then we're going to tuck that wire back in and pull any extra slack down back into this panel at this point i can't really get a camera back in here where i need it to be so that you can actually see this so i'm just routing the antenna as far back as possible and centering it on the rear deck lid while tucking in the wire Once we have everything routed, this is what your final result should look like. Your GPS antenna should be sitting on the back deck and the wire routed down and around to the C pillar. I tried to get that uh, GPS as wire as straight as possible. Um, in fact, I can't even get that GPS antenna down into that little spot because of the slope of the window. However, this is known to fix the issue. Uh, I tested this first on my 2022 Camaro SS1LE, and now we're installing this on Matt's ZL1. Now that we have everything routed, we can place this trim piece back on the vehicle. I'm gonna start by pushing it in at the front towards the A pillar, you'll hear it snap, and then you'll just push it down and you'll hear each connector pop in. And there you have it. You have your GPS antenna installed onto the sixth gen Camaro with PDR. And until GM releases their version, uh, there should be a TSB released soon. I've talked to some of my friends at General Motors and they're aware of the problem. The initial location of the PDR antenna, which is underneath the dash, uh, was working great from, you know, 17 to 21. And then something changed. Uh, the PDR antenna was picking up interference. So they're working on a kit to move that antenna to the roof location. So until that happens, use this method. Uh, I've done it on my own car. Now we've done it to this ZL1. And now the next time we hit the track, accurate data from here on out. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, you might be interested in some of the other videos that I have, which uh, I'll link here and here or somewhere in this area. Uh, please give a like hit subscribe, hit that bell to be notified of any future videos that pop up. Till next time, till the next project, see you then.